Hi, it's Valerie again. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make goat milk taste good. Now, far too often when you get goat milk anywhere else, or goat milk, it tastes absolutely foul. It's got this weedy, goaty, nasty taste to it. And so now it has a bad rep. I can't believe they sell it like that in the store. So I want to show you guys how to make goat milk taste like cow milk. Actually, even better than cow milk. It truly can be a sweet, delicious thing if you go about it the right way. And seeing as how I was mentored by somebody who was very experienced, did this for 10 years, I want to share this with anyone looking to start milking their goats and they want the milk to taste good. So one of the things that we do is what they eat makes a huge difference. All they can have is alfalfa. So you get the regular alfalfa. You feed them that, okay? Don't want them to eat anything else, no weeds, no leaves. Even apples and carrots can make their milk taste gross. It kind of gives it a bitter taste. Things like peaches, pineapple, figs, they could have things like that. That's not gonna mess with their milk. Uh, orange rinds, I give them oranges all the time. They love oranges, it's good for their immune system, and it doesn't make the milk taste gross. Now, when I milk them, which I'm about to do right now, I feed them three different things every time I milk them. So first, I get a scoop of the, the four-way oats here. Uh, this is her goat. Then, I get a scoop of the calf mana here. So calf mana actually increases their um, milk flow. You get more milk when you give them calf mana. And my secret ingredient, top secret here. Uh, animal crackers. So, when I give them this, when they are being milked, their milk tastes delicious. It sweetens it, and they love it. So let's go get Maggie. Oh. Maggie is my goat I'm milking right now. I have two goats that I'm milking right now, but we'll just uh, we'll just show you with one. She's a little bit stubborn. Okay, let's grab Maggie. Okay, uh, come on Maggie, no, you can't have it yet. Uh. All right, off to the milking stand. So, they've gotten used to it. When you first start milking them, they might not follow you like this. You might have to kind of drag them. Goats can be pretty stubborn, which is probably where they got the term stubborn as a goat. So. She's been trained because she's been doing this a while, but believe you me, she used to have to be dragged over here. But they'll get used to it after a while. So don't become too discouraged. Before I used to have to pick her up and put her on the stand myself. Now she goes right up there. So one of the things I do when I milk is I spray, um, this has iodine hydrogen peroxide and water in it. It's antibacterial, it helps prevent mastitis in the uh, goats. You don't want them getting infections in their nipples. With her, because she is stubborn, I tie her feet down with these, with these little leashes. So, come on. They actually make things for the goats to tie their feet up with, but those things, they hate. It binds their feet together and they will just buck and kick. I found that these I got at the Dollar Tree and they work so much better. The goats prefer them. They're not bucking and kicking the whole time and they're not gonna stick your, their feet in your, in, your, uh, in your goat milking bucket. So there's that. Every time I spray, I have a little thing to lift. Now milking a goat is a little tricky. It's not like milking a cow, which we're gonna get a little close up here on the udders and show you how. So when you milk a goat, you gotta capture it. Let's get a close up here. You capture it with your thumb and then you squeeze down. It's kind of like rolling a roller. And you'll just do that. Usually for her, I'll fill this at least halfway. And then when you get pro, you go two handed with it. And it can be pretty quick. The first time I did this, it took me 30 minutes. Now I can get it done in about five. And they don't mind it. You just gotta make sure you're not shy and bashful. You squeeze, I'm gonna do the roller thing, it comes out. You'd be surprised how many people have tried milking this goat and nothing came out because there is a technique to it. 
Now a uh, cow, you can just squeeze and it comes right out. It's more of a capture squeeze technique. And you gotta roll it like a roller going down. But this is how you make the goat milk taste good. You see, she's happy. She's just eating over there. And then when we're done, I will strain the milk. So hold on one second here. Okay, so now you see, now is the straining process, which is quite simple. I just get um, one of the simply balanced orange juices or whatever container of juice or whatever I drink. And I empty them, wash them out, and now I have a nice container to put my milk in. I use a nut milk bag, which you can get at Amazon or local health food store, and I strain it with this, wash it out every time. Okay, I get a funnel, and you can, uh... so you put the funnel in, put the nut milk bag over the funnel, and then you just grab it, and can you see this? Yes, you can see it, okay. So you just grab it, you strain it through the nut milk bag, and this gets out any hair or anything undesirable that might have fallen into your milk while you're milking. And of course I have little Sarah here, who, if you have a dog, they love to lick out the bowl when you're done. I don't worry, sanitize it, don't worry. Um, and you see all this cream on top, and I just kind of squeeze it, make sure that there's nothing except for the milk in here. And then I will take this all and wash it. I stick this in the freezer because the freezer, I feel like, um, I feel like the freezer kind of kills anything that might be not good in it, but it also doesn't kill all the good stuff like pasteurization does. So when you're heating up stuff, it kills all the good stuff. When you're freezing it, it preserves it, and I think nothing tastes better than ice cold milk. So there you go, there's your process as to how to make goat milk taste good, how to milk a goat, and um, you just, it all depends on what you feed them, it's very important. They can't eat anything except for alfalfa, um, things that are really sweet like figs, peaches, apricots, pineapples, any kind of citrus, they can eat those things, it won't make the milk taste bad. Uh, the four way oats when you feed them, it's good for them to have that. Also the calf manna milk production and then my secret ingredient which is animal crackers which you can get anywhere. I mean they do have the organic animal crackers at Costco or you could just go get the cheap ones at Walmart for two bucks for a giant bag. So it doesn't seem to affect the goats dramatically either way. But that's how you get goat milk to taste good and everybody who's tried my milk will agree that it is the most amazing milk they've ever tried. Tastes better than cow milk. If you go to the store and try goat milk, ugh, just don't. It's gross. But this is, it gives it a bad name. It can taste good. All my kids love it. It's one of the, it's way closer to a uh, human's breast milk as far as the genetic structure of the milk. Your body absorbs it a lot better, has a lot of vitamins and nutrients. Cow milk will sit in your stomach and rot for hours because it's so hard for your body to digest. So this is the better choice when it comes to milk and drinking milk. And there's nothing better than milking them yourself. I mean, you know where it came from. It's super fresh. It's actually cheaper. The reason I decided to start doing it myself was because when I was buying it, it went for 12 to 20 bucks a gallon. So I did the math in my head and I realized it only cost me 50 to 100 bucks a month to take care of all five of my goats and milk them, provide for them everything we need, and I get a gallon of milk a day. Before, I was only getting eight gallons a month. And when you have a large family, it's best to do it this way. And nothing's more wonderful than when you walk outside and you see your child milking, getting their own milk from the animal in the backyard, seeing where it came from. I mean, there's just something richly beautiful and educational about that and satisfying. And it's just fun. It's a great pet for the family. Um, it's good for your kids to be able to participate and know where your food came from. And it's a good way to live a healthy lifestyle. It's not hard. I mean... Cows, I don't know why you would choose a cow. They're so much more expensive to take care of, so much harder to take care of. And goats are so much cheaper, and the milk's so much better for you. And the cow milk's not even that great for you. So it's a win-win all around. 
And now that you know how to make your goat milk taste good, it's worth it. Because if you did it the way most people do, it wouldn't be. I wouldn't recommend it at all. But yeah, follow that recipe for goat milk and you can't go wrong. So I hope this was helpful for anyone trying to milk goats or maybe they have and their milk tasted gross. They wondered why. That's why. So follow those guidelines and you'll have the most amazing, delicious milk. Okay, so hope that was helpful. Goodbye.